Greetings from the Ericos. This is Mad Shad. Ha <laughs> ha. Thor Vigi me Thor bless on this wonderful Thursday. Wow. Beautiful day. It's going to be 41 degrees. Yeah, it's a heat wave. It's a heat wave here in Cleveland, folks. Uh, the snow is melting. <laughs> and there's talk of this weekend doing being in the 60s. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's a great day. Yeah, it's a little chilly, but <laughs> it's a great day. I'll tell you about those who did not have a great day. Those Americans are trapped in Afghanistan, left there by Trevor Jones, militia slash incompetent regime. At least we get 13 servicemen and women died in Abigail, Kabul, Afghanistan, along with two other poor souls. 300 plus people lost, lost arms and legs and limbs. Things that don't grow back. A lot of them were service members as well. Every day, never forget, and never forget whose fault this is. Deploy knife hands. <laughs> but there was hope. Folks getting them out. Task Force Argo, Task Force Pineapple, Project Exit, Project Dunbar Christian Coalition, Mighty Old Foundation, just to name a few. And least we forget that 200 plus individuals are still incarcerated over the J6 debacle. Hell, there is political prisoners without bail, without sentencing, in torturous conditions, in solitary confinement, in constant interrogation. Someone lost an eye. There were suicides. Yeah. Every day, never forget. And never forget whose fault this is. Deploy more knife hands. But there's hope. Thousands of folk, thousands of people trying to help. Uh, family, friends, loved ones, uh, charitable organizations, congressmen, senators, and representatives, lawyer firms doing pro bono work. Uh, uh, people providing for their uh, their defense fund, people providing for care packages, and people providing for the displaced families. Uh, financial assistance for the displaced families. There's a lot of moms and dads in prison still. Yeah. So uh, they're, they're doing the things. They're doing the things. Um, so, yeah. Meanwhile, meanwhile, interesting. Uh, there's a humpback whale named Twan. Twain? Twan? Twain. I want to say Twain. I, uh, I think it's Twain. Uh, T-W-A-I. I, I think it's Twain. So, like Mark Twain. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Scientists are claiming that they had a 20-minute conversation with this humpback whale in the humpback whale's own language. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they were just sitting there going... I don't know. Uh, maybe they figured it out. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, they claim. Uh, so... Uh, <laughs> but that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool that they had a conversation at least. Um, you know, I don't know. Oh, the humpback whales and, oh, excuse me, I'm suppressing a fucking yawn here. The, the humpback whales and the, uh, uh, the dolphins, it, we, we've been doing a lot with them, trying to talk with them and, 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 and train them and all this, that. Uh, you know, of course, the dolphins, there's a lot of training going on. Killer whales. Killer, we've tried to, uh, the military has tried to train the killer whales. And, well, as soon as they get out, and they, they put all this stuff on them. You know, like uh, helmets. And, and, and they, they actually put it into their flesh. Uh, if you ever seen, like, the... Uh, the the uh, the dolphins and their the the old mining uh, looking for mines uh, the mine searching dolphins uh, the mine searching dolphins they they just basically go and kill themselves or whatever but when they did this to the killer whales and put all these apparatuses into them and everything the killer whales broke them off and took off <laughs> really uh, you know or and. You know, there's even a talk that they found other killer whales and said, hey, get this thing out of me. Just just fucking rip it out of me. Right. Just chomp. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Bye. <laughs> uh, thanks. Uh, you know, so interesting that the killer whales would just kind of and finally freedom and uh, out they go. Uh, <laughs> crazy, crazy stories. That's all I really got. Uh, you know, it's uh really really close to christmas so uh folks get your uh get your your affairs in order uh the day of reckoning is nigh right get all those christmas presents uh make all those last minute uh plans and everything and uh stand by and uh yeah that'll be a good time right that'll be a good time so uh <laughs>
<laughs> now, never mind all the doom and gloom, okay? Right? Never, never mind all that. Just, you know, have a good time with your family and, and your friends and, you know, in this festive uh, occasion, which... You know, all over the world, uh, people are are, uh, are are celebrating for. You know, Christmas is a worldwide event, right? So, yeah, enjoy it. Enjoy. <laughs> uh, so, go Team Linda. Go Team Linda. Fuck cancer. She's kicking ass, taking names, getting stronger by the day. Um, and I want to say Team Baby Harper, just out of, you know... Uh, out of just doing it all the time, but I hear she's doing great. Like I said, she's finger painting and on on the uh, drywall, uh, and <laughs> I don't know, uh, beating on pots and pans and things. So uh, you know, way to go, uh, go team, uh, Tom Pat, Tom Cat's wife. She is recovering well. So uh, g give all your thoughts and prayers to Team Linda uh, and Team Tom Cat's wife. Yes. So uh, this has been Mad Shad. Every day, never forget.